JATO, is a type of assisted takeoff for helping overloaded aircraft into the air by providing additional thrust in the form of small rockets. The term JATO is used interchangeably with the term RATO, for rocket assisted takeoff. Early experiments and World War II Early experiments using rockets to boost gliders into the air were conducted in Germany in the 1920s, and later both the Royal Air Force and the Luftwaffe introduced such systems in World War II. The British system used fairly large solid fuel rockets to shoot planes off a small ramp fitted to the fronts of merchant ships, known in service as catapult armed merchantmen, in order to provide some cover against German maritime patrol planes. After firing, the rocket was released from the back of the plane to fall into the water and sink. The task done, the pilot would fly to friendly territory if possible or parachute from the plane, hopefully to be picked up by one of the escort vessels. Over two years the system was only employed nine times to attack German aircraft with eight kills recorded for the loss of a single pilot. The Luftwaffe also used the technique with both liquid-fueled and solid fuel, often jettisonable rocket motors in order to help their small bombers, and the enormous gigant, Messerschmitt Me 321 glider, conceived in 1940 for the invasion of Britain, and used to supply the Russian front which also had air tow assistance from up to three Messerschmitt Bf 110 heavy fighters in a so-called Troika Schlepp arrangement, into the air with loads that would have made the takeoff run too long otherwise, but with much attendant risk of aerial collision from the trio. Of V formation Bf 110s involved in a simultaneous tow plane function. This became especially important late in the war when the lengths of usable runways were severely curtailed due to the results of Allied bombing. Their system typically used Walter HWK 109 to 500 or minus 501 Starville Fell liquid fuel monopropellant rocket engines driven by chemical decomposition of T stoff, essentially almost pure hydrogen peroxide. A parachute pack at the blunt contour front of the motor's exterior housing was used to slow its fall after being released from the plane, so the system could be reused. First experiments were held in 1937 on an Heinkel He 111, piloted by test pilot Eric Warsitz at Neuhardenberg, a large field about 70 kilometers east of Berlin, listed as a reserve airfield in the event of war. Other German experiments with JATO were aimed at assisting the launch of interceptor aircraft such as the Messerschmitt Me 262C, as the HEM HR one quarter Z special versions, usually fitted with either a version of the Walter HWK 109-509 liquid-fueled rocket engine from the Me 163 Comet program either in the extreme rear of the fuselage or semi-podded beneath it just behind the wing's trailing edge to assist its junkers Jumo 004 turbojets, or a pair of specially rocket-boosted BMW 003. Our combination jet rocket power plants in place of the Jumo 004S, so that the Mi 262C Heme HR one quarter air interceptors could reach enemy bomber formations sooner. Two prototypes of the Heme HR one quarter air versions of the Mi 262 were built and test flown, of the three designs proposed. In early 1939, the United States National Academy of Sciences provided $1,000 to Theodore von Kahr RMAN and the Rocket Research Group at the Guggenheim Aeronautical Laboratory to research rocket-assisted takeoff of aircraft. This JATO research was the first rocket research to receive financial assistance from the U.S. government since World War I when Robert Goddard had an army contract to develop solid-fuel rocket weapons. In late 1941 Von Kahr RMAN and his team attached several 50-pound thrust, solid-fuel aerojet JATOs to a light equipped plane, and Army Captain Homer Bauchet took off on test runs. On the last run they removed the propeller, attached six JATO units under the wings, and Bauchet was thrust into the air for a short flight, the first American to fly by rocket power only. Both armed services used solid-fuel JATO during the war. Post WWII. After World War II, JATO became particularly common owing to the low slow speed thrust of then current jet engines or for assisting heavy aircraft. The prop engine that Rochak Helton used Armstrong City Viper turbojets for takeoff. As the takeoff thrust of jet engines has grown, JATO has fallen from favor. It is still used, however, 
when heavily laden aircraft need to take off from short runways or when operating in hot and high conditions. Two similar zero-length launch experimental programs were carried out by the U.S. Air Force and by the Soviet VVS at around the same time in the late 1950s, both using high thrust, short thrust duration booster designs of very similar appearance and function. The U.S. Air Force used a modified Republic F-84, designated EF-84G, which used the MGM-1 Matador cruise missile solid fuel booster. The Soviet BVS used a modified MiG-19 fighter, designated SM-30, launched from a special launcher, and using a nearly identical solid-fueled rocket booster design to that of the EF-84G. The F-100 and F-104 were also used for zero-length launch experiments. Operation Credible Sport was a United States military operation plan in late 1980 to rescue hostages held by Iran using C-130 cargo planes modified with rocket engines to enable a very short takeoff and landing. The plan was cancelled after an accident during the test landing when the forward-facing JATO units designed to slow the aircraft the landing fired before the downward-facing units designed to cushion the landing, causing the aircraft to crash land. The JATO Jr. was an attempt by Aerojet Engineering to introduce smaller JATO unit to small commercial aircraft, but was blocked by the U.S. Navy Bureau of Aeronautics. Aerojet claimed in the smaller JATO bottle, delivering 250 pounds of thrust for 12 seconds can help a light private plane, that normally requires almost 900 feet of runway to clear a 50-foot high obstacle could do the same with 300 feet of runway with a JATO JR unit. The Boeing 727 had provision for Aerojet JATO assist for use in hot and high situations. Urban legend, the JATO rocket car is an urban legend that relates the story of a car equipped with JATO units that is later found smashed into a mountainside. This story is often given as an example of a Darwin Award. However it appears to be apocryphal, with no basis in fact. The legend has been examined several times on the Discovery Channel show Mythbusters. For the first attempt, in a 2003 pilot episode, the crew replicated the scene and the thrust of the JATO with some commercially available amateur rocket motors. The car did go very fast, outrunning the chase helicopter, but nowhere near the 300 miles per hour reported in the original story, and failed to become airborne. The myth was revisited in 2007, using a different configuration of rockets in an attempt to make the car fly. However, it exploded before reaching the end of its launch ramp. The myth was again revisited in 2013 in the first episode of Mythbusters Series 12, as a celebration for the 10th year on air. A JATO equipped 1958 Dodge Coronet car on the El Mirage Dry Lake was used for a TV advertisement to demonstrate the power of their total contact brakes. This was broadcast during the Lawrence Welk show in the late 1950s. Gallery. See also, Assisted Takeoff. References, Notes. External links, Video of the Hinkel He 111 fitted with Walters rocket boosters, birth of JATO. Popular Science, July 1946, pages 74 Euro 75. Boeing 727 using JATO on YouTube, C-130 Lockheed Hercules JATO on YouTube.